What some people consider the most important problem of the age, um, and many of them are substantially smarter than I am. I'll talk about uh, those people in a second. But I'm going to talk with you about what the implications are of all of these exciting technologies, particularly the more kind of cognitive technologies, things like machine learning, which was uh, mentioned earlier as incredibly important, uh, IBM's Watson, various other, uh, I think John Bergen referred to them as soft bots, all of these technologies that are doing things that humans previously did, what does that mean for our jobs? And how can we adapt to these technologies so that we um, are successful going forward with information technology? The first one, of course, is Bill Gates, who said, you know, put me in the, the camp who is worried about super intelligence, this um, state when the machines get um, substantially smarter than us humans, knowledge work jobs are gonna be next. Uh, and these big bad machines are coming for our jobs, you know, not the manual workers, not the service workers, but knowledge workers like ourselves. Are knowledge workers going to go? I'm gonna give away a little bit of my conclusion here. The answer is yes and no. I don't know about you, but I think this is a pretty scary list. You know, we could teach it to play chess, but it couldn't play checkers. Uh, but as these systems get more powerful, they can do more and more kinds of cognitive activities, which again is a bit scary for, for us humans. My argument is that instead of automation, we need to think about augmentation. Thinking about how smart humans and smart machines can work together to create a better outcome than either could on their own. What I've done is identify five ways that we can augment. So I'll take you through it in the abstract and then I'll give you a couple of quick examples. Stepping in is kind of going into the belly of the beast and knowing exactly how these machines work. Stepping up is where you go a level above, you know, maybe you're a manager and you see what is the total kind of output of this system and how could we improve it? Where do we need more automation? Where do we need less? Stepping aside is doing something that computers can't do very well, at least for now. What does all this mean for organizations? I think it's very important to think augmentation from the beginning and try to think of ways that you can differentiate your products and services with smart humans and smart machines. So what are you waiting for? I mean, the technologies are there. The cognitive processes are there as an opportunity to be improved. And people and organizations, I think, are waiting to be told how can we save our jobs in the coming future of smart machines.